Hey guys, welcome back to another video today, and today I'm going to be going over the latest jailbreak update. We got a new prison bus, which seats 15 people, target locking for rocket launchers and stuff, and new garage items and trade features. So yeah, we're going to go over all of that in today's video, so let's go ahead and start off with the prison bus, which is the brand new vehicle. It spawns right here, but I think there's already one right here, so it's not spawning in. But yeah, it used to cost like 175k on like the testing server, but now it only costs 100 150k there's also a new feature in the game where you can just go ahead and buy it so if you go over here you can just buy it if you want and if it doesn't spawn you can just you can click it and you can buy it. but i already bought it 150k so let's go ahead got it get on here and let me just let everyone in all right so let me turn on the door so if you hit this g button you can actually open and close the doors here so that's a fun feature so let's see how much people we can get on this prison bus and then uh, i'm gonna do a little surprise you know i'm gonna surprise them with something because i got something up my sleeve but they don't know what's coming but you know come on get on guys get on all right so i'm gonna announce to the server to come to the prison to get on my bus but meanwhile let's go ahead and customize it so the customizations i found that are pretty cool would be blue pixel pixel i think looks good as well if you have the armor skin that looks nice because you know it, it is a prison bus so and then also um also some cool looking i guess carbon fiber is always good looking so you would probably want to dry around this thing and yeah if you don't want to use any textures i think the textures that most fits it would probably be maybe something like yellow or orange yeah and then pastel yellow um no just yellow there you go yellow that looks like a school bus orange and they blue and then navy blue also looks nice if i can find it there's navy blue if you put that it has a really nice color of blue i think it actually fits the theme of it but anyway i'm gonna go ahead and put on i guess i'll put on carbon fiber i like it no that's not carbon fiber there it is okay i think that's enough we have enough people we're closing the doors we got a little thing that i want to do all right there's one thing i want to do and i want to head toward maybe the criminal base because there's something right there and i think it, it's gonna be fun all right we're gonna head up there i don't think they even think it's coming so let's just uh just you know just take a little stroll you know we're gonna head over here and we're gonna go ahead and just head up the mountain and you know there's nothing wrong that could happen here right there's nothing wrong we're just trying to head up the mountain we're trying to head up to the volcano and oh, oh okay i w went a bit too far all right some people jumped off they really thought i was going in you see i you thought i would do that you thought i'd do that Nah, i won't do that come on come on come on in come on in come on in Come on in. You want to come in? Yeah, there we go. And we're going on in, jumping out. Oh, uh, can we save ourselves? Oh, uh, 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 uh. Wait, did we, did we actually, did I save myself, actually? <laughs> wait, I think I, wait, what? Oh, I, I guess I kind of did, but I'm kind of inside the mountain. Let's go ahead and just look in free cam. Oh my goodness. Okay, I think we think we got them. Yep, they're all the way down here. <laughs> Anyways, I do like the prison bus a lot. And let me know down below if you like the prison bus. I think it's fairly decently priced. I was guessing around 100k. And 150k is still pretty decent for, you know, something that holds 15 seats. I could see people playing around this a lot. And yeah, anyway, let's go ahead and move on to the next thing. I'm gonna change the theme to pixel now because I want it to be more fun looking, but now let me go ahead and tell you guys the speed of the bus. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and go over here and we're gonna use our regular route for speed testing, but maybe we have to disable vehicle collisions because this person is in the way. So anyway, here we go, let's go ahead and do this. All right, let's see the top speed. So here we go, five, four, three, two, and one, here we go. And now I, I'm estimating this to be around maybe 150 miles per hour. Also, it is engine level five. I did upgrade it to engine level five. So anyway, let's go ahead, let's go over. But there's some people in our way. That's the, that's the issue. I mean, I did disable vehicle collisions, but still I got kind of hit right there. That, that, that's not nice. And uh, it's not that good that someone's literally following me with a spotlight, you know? Okay, it looks like we're getting 140. All right, 100, oh, 147. All right, 150. Yeah, 150 seems plausible. It keeps on going 155 okay it seems to max out at 155 miles per hour yeah i mean someone did kind of tell me that are you okay went up a little bit higher 156 uh it might be because we're going uphill or i mean downhill and yeah it looks like 150 is the max for it but i'm gonna say 155 yeah it keeps on going it goes all the way up to like 155 and then just caps okay it keeps on going okay it goes 160 all right it does go to 160 so yeah we can see it does go faster than that all right 
All right, so 160 is kind of like the peak for, I mean, that's pretty good actually, to be honest, because, you know, I didn't expect it to even go that fast. I thought like 100 miles per hour would probably be at its limit, so. But it, it does carry 15 people, so you gotta realize it can't be that fast. Buses shouldn't even be 150 miles per hour in real life anyway. So let's go ahead and go over the next thing for this update, and that is the RPG. It can now lock on to vehicles. So now let's go ahead and go over the next thing for this update, and that is rocket launchers. It can now lock on to aerial vehicles, which means helicopters and jets. However, I don't think a rocket launcher could chase a jet though, but for a helicopter, it could probably will. So let's go ahead and just use it. So let's go get a rocket launcher right here. Let's buy some ammo. All right, now I did ask the server to, you know, get in helicopters and stuff. So yeah, just go ahead. I'm gonna tell them to go ahead and fly around in circles. So, you know, this will be, you can actually see how it tracks. So go, go, go and fly. I wanna actually wanna track on to some people. All right, let's go ahead and try to track on to someone who's actually moving. All right, here we go. This person right here, all right. So there we go, you can see that I tracked them, 51 damage. Let's try again, track them again, and let's see. And I took them out of the sky and it literally killed them too, bro. That did like the two direct hits and just killed them right out of the sky. So it does take two hits to knock a helicopter out of the sky, but it does seem to do some critical damage. Like, let's see, all right, okay, that one did not hit. All right, all right, that one actually went down. I think someone also shot a rocket launcher down, so it does also work. Oh yeah, they're a cop, that's why I didn't get damage at all. But yeah, it takes two shots to shoot one someone down, and okay, that person literally died. Like, yeah, this is kind of powerful. All right, let's try to track on this drone right here. Here we go, let's try to get the drone. Let's try to get uh, another one locked on, and I think they're shot down. Yeah, they're shot down now. All right, here's another one. They're flying pretty close to the ground, but we locked on to this one. All right, I think it exploded already. Oh, they're actually shooting me. Come on, man, why are you doing that? All right, there we go. There we go. Alright, they shot down. So even if you don't have to lock on, you, you can still shoot them now, of course. One thing it does create is like a bunch of fire in the sky, because once you shoot them down, a fire starts. So, um, it's always been a thing for jailbreak, so it's not too surprising. But yeah, that's one thing that's gonna happen now. You're probably gonna see a lot of fires in the sky. Anyway, how it really works is that when you lock onto like a target, it's gonna follow it in circles. And then after a while, I think it might lose its accuracy and just explode out of nowhere. So... Yeah, it probably would circle around a few times before it finally explodes. Or if it hits a target, you know, that'll count as one. It hit twice, and then it'll shoot down. All right, the next thing to this update is the new items. There's a bunch of new items to this update, so let's see if we can even cover it. So first of all, there's new rims. So first of all, you can see all these. We got the unified rims. They're also really, like, well-made and have really high detail. Let's see if I can change the white. There we go. You can now see the rims. So here we go. Unified, 40,000. Let's see what it looks like. Raced for Unity. I think that's what it says. All right, that's pretty nice. And uh, let's go see. I'm not even sure, but there's a really nice design here. We got RX1. I think it just says that in the middle. And then we have VFX. And we also have Space R. I think my favorite out of these would probably be maybe Space R. I probably wouldn't get Space R. But out of all of these, the, the unified one is the most expensive. Next up, we have new tires. So we got Leap Year and we got Parson Tire. So let's go ahead and buy Leap Year because I do want to get this one. It, it is named after, you know, Goodyear. But yeah, let's go ahead and just get this one and buy this one. All right. Parson actually looks pretty sick. I'm kind of clean and, and stuff. So I, I'll take it. And I think lastly, there's new spoilers. So yeah, we got... The Tustec rim, I mean not rim, I mean the spoiler, and we got the dragster, oh okay, and then we got the trouble wings, which is like some missiles flying toward you, and then you can't catch me, which is one that's just, you know, text that's floating above your vehicle, uh, but this is pretty expensive, like this trouble wing costs 100k, like dang. 100,000 for this and uh, all right, but I think I like the two stack rooms. I'm gonna buy this. Let's buy that and let's go buy the trouble wing Yeah, I'm probably gonna buy that as well. All right, we're down to 38 million now. Are you kidding me? But yeah, all this is pretty costly. Anyway, let's just drive around this thing. Yeah, just like missiles kind of toward you. It's kind of cool though. Anyway, there's one more thing I do want to go over and that is trading. But before we go ahead and do that, there is a new code. Yes, a new code for $10,000. So let me go ahead and show you this new code before I go to trading. So let's head over here and go to the code. And it's July 2023. You can just redeem this for 10,000 cash. So yeah, go ahead and use that code. Now let's go ahead and head over to the trading hub. I just realized there's another item. There's a furniture item called the confetti cannon, but you know, I'm already at the trading hub, but yeah, there's another, there's another furniture item. So that's something that's new. Anyway, another thing that is new here is sorting. So you can see if I go to this uh, card for trading, you can see it says monthly traded zero, monthly unique zero. Well, that's because you know, prison Moss is really new, but if I check the Peru Lee right over here, you can see it gets traded 56,000 times per month. 
and the unique number is 10,000. There's 10,000 of them circulating. So yeah, anyway, you can sort this by high demand so you can see what is your most high demand stuff. And yeah, if you look on the trading card now, you, can't, you can see that there's no times traded anymore. They officially have removed that. And uh, yeah, I don't know if there's any other sort. I think high demand is like the most uh, new sort. So yeah, you can see which ones are your highest demand vehicles. This is actually better because before people were using times traded as a way to value things, but now people are now using, you know, actual statistics so you can see stuff that's being traded and there's actual ranking that uses numbers and yeah it will show in the high demand category so you can see torpedoes number one which makes sense everyone wants a torpedo then beam hybrid that's also the kind of most rarest vehicle in the game so that will be the second most highest and you can see everything else i'm going to try to make a demand list based on the information on this they did release a database but that's probably a future video so stay tuned for that anyway that's pretty much it for this update i think i went over everything so if you've not make sure you leave a like subscribe make us i'll make more jailbreak videos just like this and yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you guys all in my next video bye